the Nervo and you're watching Mosh Cam. And we want to win. Yeah. Vote for us. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ah, best gig. Very tricky, but for me, it would be Passion New York. For me, it would be um, Tomorrowland last year, 2012. The energy at Pasha, it's just epic. You can feel everyone there. They've, they've got an enormous horn. So as you get really drunk, you just go, <laughs> <laughs> It can get quite annoying for some, but I like it. You just hang, swing from the horn. And I think Tomorrowland uh, last year was just, um, we had an overwhelming amount of support from fans, you know, that went to such lengths to make, you know, uh, signs, flags. And banners, yeah. and flags, and we were just, I was just blown like, away by it. I think the first time we played in Argentina was a bit of a trip out because they do this thing where all the men start circling each other and they jump oh. and, they, and they run around on the whole um, oh. on the whole floor and that that was quite an experience. And then where was that other place we played where everyone starts sitting down? Oh, Brazil. Brazil. And then so you've got thousands of people sitting down and then all of a sudden they all get up. Yeah, and you almost don't realise they're sitting down until you see like this Mexican wave of people and they come, they jump up on the drop. Yes, of the beam. And it's something they obviously do in South America. And then another time, I must say, in Mexico, remember when those guys were running after the car after us going, <laughs> Liam, Liam, please, take me back to your room, please. <laughs> and they were like, we fought very well. <laughs> yeah, we felt... We had like and they were like groupy love on offering. Yep. Oh, we take it in turn. We really do. Yeah, and I think we both um, like to party. We do. We like to party. If we both party at the same time, it's like really hard. Sometimes it's bad because the next day is a while out. Yeah. So at least if Liv has a big night, I can, I can take hold for the next day. So yeah. We do, take, we do take it in turns. There's, I mean, there's so many and it happens randomly. So many, and not just one night. It yeah. turns into many. Yeah, nights. I mean... Brazil, Creamfields tour, changes my life. Yeah. I mean, went to the... That was the night I skipped out. Yes. And you went to the... Warung. Uh, the Warung anniversary. And it yeah. was Solomon, Seth Truxler, who else? It was um, oh, Ali. Ali was Dubfire, Art Sharam, Art Department. So all the kind of deep house tech guys. So they, she went You always have a big room. night. And Steve Lawler, you always have a big night with those boys. Because you know, they just play for six hours, each and every single one of them. But Ibiza, we've had many, many, many fun nights. Yeah. Ibiza doesn't stop. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, because the thing is, also we play um, often at a club called Ushuaia, which is a daytime club. It finishes at midnight, and so no one finishes. Everyone like finishes at Ushuaia and then goes off to DC Ten, yeah. or then goes off Space. to Pasha to see Tiesto, or like, and, and it's, it really is like a reunion because all your buddies are always on the island, and every single night there's something on the island. Yeah. So it doesn't stop. Yeah. Oh, just losing my voice all the time. Yeah. Exhaustion. <laughs> Tour injury is like the biggest hangover of your life. <laughs> Mexican was interesting. He was like, please, please. <laughs> um, Italy was kind of a bit scary. I remember we got back from a gig once. And, oh. um, and they were in our hotel. hotel. And, and, a guy knocked on my a guy knocked on my door. No, that happened to you in New York, but no, this time the, the reception called me and there's like a guy down here for you, can you come down? I was like, no. And we'd been at the hotel for 30 minutes, so we'd been there a while. And then what about that time in New York? You had a yeah, scary... I had a guy come to my follow me to my room, hotel room. And knock on the door and luckily she looked through the peephole. So I didn't know. She's like, Mim, Mim, me, me. and he just stood there and didn't do anything. Just yeah, so <laughs> Scary fan. We should get some extra points for that story. Uh, yes, yes. I've seen wheelchairs, I've seen, I've seen guys seen, in trees. I've seen people having sex. Have you? Yes. Where? In Germany. Wow. Yep. Are you serious? Yeah, of course. At um, Na Nature One. Was it Nature One or whatever? How did I miss that? I uh, don't know. I was off with Marco. Okay. Anyway. Friend, so. by the way. <laughs> Um, yeah, do you know what? This is the kind of question that at oh, the time... Oh, we saw bungee jumping, naked bungee jumping. That was kind of funny. Oh, yeah, in Germany. And then what happens if you um, if you bungee jump naked, then you get it for free. So there are all these naked people bungee jumping, they're really drunk, and then when they 
got on the ground. They were like moving, <laughs> quite funny. What else have we seen? I love it when you get people and they make like a triangle. So you get four people, three, two, one. Like a really... Uh, I've woken up in an airport. Had to go straight to an airport before and then just been like, uh, rotting at the gate. Rotting. Really wanting to die. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Other people's hotel rooms, probably. <laughs> Friends' yeah. hotels, in there. Yeah. No, but we did hear the funniest story of why a show was shut down. Why? In Italy again. Because oh, yeah. the the somewhat, the um, garbage men went on strike in Italy, and so all the, the the garbage was on the streets, and the streets just melt. So all of the shops and nightclubs closed down, and no one was going out. So the promoter called. Our agent was like, the show's off, this whole town stinks like garbage. Yeah. There are police uh, around all the time, but police are good. You know. Yeah. So never no. I think it's pretty crazy some gigs that can get really out of hand, like there's just too many people and so you do I do feel quite safe with security and yeah. And the, not the cops, but they don't see any cops. Oh you get police at like um at some events, you know, like events like this, you'll have police, and then in some countries, you'll have 